one fellow that's not in the house tonight. This time, unlike 2015, I don't think the prosecutors are going to let the police escape a clear felony. Do you imagine any circumstances under which a white male can skip class and have sex in the school bathroom not once, but twice, and even admit to doing it and not get suspended? Isn't it interesting that the non-binary rapist was never suspended after admitting to having sex in the girls' bathroom? I wonder why. Hold that thought. Let's talk about your assurances earlier this year that you conducted a comprehensive investigation of the Stone Bridge non-binary rapist and had taken all necessary action. If that was the case, why did you order the code red books? I mean, why did you petition the court to halt the grand jury? And how did your attorney file those pleadings if you never took a vote approving? Did Falcone file motions without approval of his clients? Or are you all violating FOIA regarding votes taken in closed meetings? We have principals who impregnated staff and are still employed. Oh. Thank you.